the first thing we need to do is to click on personalize employees table right here I can see that the personalized employee table has got these fields okay so I need to create my item somewhere between the manager and the delete field which is somewhere here I need to create an item so the item will be created by clicking on the create item link right so let's click on the create item link here and this time I want to select an attachment image I want to do that at site level okay so I will say attachment image ID something like this auto save equal to false well I'm not going to allow the users to modify the attachments from the search page so in that case there's no question of saving the attachments here right and the prompt is going to be documents something like this okay the view instance name is going to be the view instance name which we got from the previous video which is this employee summary view one and uh, that should be it for this property okay I click on apply so that's created an attachment item for me I can click on this highlight thing right I can click on this highlight thing to just to focus just to focus on the attachment item right so now I need to create entity mapping within it so I click on the create item I'll just repeat what I did I went to create item here okay against the entity mappings so that's what I did so I click on create item I want to create an entity mapping now I know that the name of my entity is this I need to give it some user friendly name as well this can be anything right insert allowed is going to be false update allows is going to be false because I do not want the users to be able to insert update or delete these entities these documents sorry right I can click on apply now which is this and now I need to specify the primary key right I have already specified the view object instance I need to specify the primary key so I just repeat what I did I went in this region here I click on create item here right that's what I do I click on create item I give it any user friendly name which is the prime key and the view object attribute is from the first phase of this tutorial okay which is the employee ID now I click on apply the last thing I need to do is to specify a category mapping so I click on the create item here again it's a category mapping okay so I click on create item here again it's a category mapping right create an item and the ID is going to be anything doesn't matter and I call it miscellaneous I want to, I want to send all my documents against uh, miscellaneous uh, category I click on apply and I click on return for, to application now I can see that the documents is my prompt and it appears here at the very end so I need to move it somewhere in between manager and delete so I click on personalize employees table again and I click on this reorder thing okay this reorder thing click on this I will do this reordering at site level so I want to move my document between the manager and the delete right and then I click on apply and I click on return to application here and I can see that the 
icon which I see here is only visible against employee ID 2 right this is only visible against the employee ID 2 and uh, that is because only the second record is the one against which the attachments exist now I should be able to click on this link here and I will see both my attachments here as you notice I'm not able to update them or delete them because I have not set those properties on this page if I want to update or delete I will click on the update link here okay and I will upload another attachment here test third like this so I can specify any description this is my third document I click on choose file here and I go to testnot.txt okay and I upload it I click on apply now the third document is available as well so if I now go back I can either do this or I can just do cancel okay and now if I click here I should be able to see my third attachment which is this right I should be able to click on this link here to see the attachment document okay so I click on this and I should see my text document appearing here